we were super happy. We had a, another little boy in the way, and then of course I got, we went for our first scan and we got the news that Luke had a congenital heart defect. After he was born, they took him right away. They had to clear the NICU to perform a stint right on the spot. Yeah. And then the three days later, they scheduled the open heart surgery. Arabella was born seven weeks early as a twin. They had to do an emergency C-section because they were both sitting in frank breech positions. But she had her tube, her umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. We were out dirt biking and uh, unfortunately Bridge was in an accident uh, while doing that. That required us to get him to the, the Sturgeon Hospital and the decision was made very quickly to get him over to the Stollery. He had a, you know, a handful of different injuries as a part of this, the biggest of which was his traumatic brain injury. Prior to their birth, we know that they are monodite twins, which lies in the category of high risk. One day we start to find out she had this very awkward jerking movements. The neurologist said, Leila has infantile spasms. So she was immediately admitted through the ER and into the stollery. After Maverick was born, all of a sudden, they realized there was something really wrong with him. They rushed us from a little town in Manitoba to the big city. They couldn't figure it out there until the next day when they found something terribly wrong with his heart and they knew that if they didn't rush him to the Edmonton Stollery Hospital, then he would die. I think the major thing they want to keep an eye on is as he grows and has growth spurts. They said that he is can be susceptible to uh, what they call, I believe it's... The leaky valve. Leaky valve syndrome. We'll kind of have to wait and see and like every year that we get to that year and he looks good, we just celebrate that. For the first stage, she was there for seven months. In September, when we brought her home for the first time to Grand Prairie, she got very, very ill. We took her into the emergency room in Grand Prairie and she was immediately deemed necessary to fly back to the Stollery. They admitted her with the highest case of sepsis in 2019 and saved her little life just in the nick of time. They're concerned about the whole family and especially, and most importantly, on Bridge who needed urgent care. As he began to emerge from coma-like state. It was relearning how to walk, relearning how to swallow food, even just stand still. You know, those things were all new again for him, right? Eventually, we were able to determine that she did have brain damage. Because of the brain damage, she has cerebral palsy. The stollery is constant for us, and also many specialists and doctors, everyone working together just to keep her daily life on track. When we got to the Stollery, we were put in a little room for the surgeon to come talk to us, and he said that there was nine defects wrong with his heart. And then the next day, he was rolled into the OR in what was an 11-hour surgery. I've been told a number of times that his chances of living went up largely as well because we were at the Stollery, and we had that Cardiac Center of Excellence, and it's a team, you know, it's, it's truly a team that just surrounded us. It's really made a difference in our lives, and, and the fact that it's right here in Edmonton is phenomenal. Without the Stollery, we wouldn't be sharing precious moments with Luke. It helped families just like ours, and you don't know if it'll help families just like yours. Being admitted into the Stollery is both fear and relief, but you know that you're at the Stollery and you can walk through those halls like you're in your own home and the people walking through them with you are there with you. And that feeling takes so much of the fear away. The idea of, of uh, not having the Stollery is uh, not possible. In those circumstances you feel so helpless and you know the one thing that we had was some hope that we had the right people and the right resources to make it all right again. Without the salary, she won't be in her school. She wouldn't be going to the swimming pool with us. Because of salary, we can have Leila to be here with us, even being very different, but still with us uh, living her best life.